how to knit jogless stripes in the round. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and thank you for visiting me here on Studio Knit where we are going to be knitting jogless stripes in the round. You saw last week that we knit stripes flat on straight knitting needles and I got a lot of requests from you guys to review the jogless stripe technique when knitting on circular needles in the round. So let's go ahead and check that out together. Unlike knitting flat, where we stack the next row directly above the last each time we start a new row, knitting in the round is actually knitting one continuous spiral. So that means the new color in your first stitch, it will be directly below the new color once you've knit all the way around your work on your last stitch. This results in a very obvious color change that has a jagged look and in knitting it's called a jog. This spiral is not something we can change, but there is a little fix to help it look better to the naked eye. There are a few different recommended techniques out there to fix that little jog when knitting stripes in the round, and I've tested them all. Luckily for us, I've discovered that the very easiest technique actually looks the best, so let's just stick with that one. And if this knitting technique video is helpful to you, please like it up. It really helps me out. Oh, and when I add a new yarn color knitting in the round, I do it exactly the same way I do when knitting straight. I just make a little loop and start knitting with the new yarn color on my first stitch. To begin, always twist your yarn colors before your stitch marker when you're ready to change yarn colors. This helps carry those yarn strands up your bark as well as keeping your stitches connected. Row one, we simply knit all the way around your row one time. So on your first row of knitting the new color, all you do is knit that entire row. You're not doing anything differently here. Just knit that entire row in your new color. Row two, here's the trick. You slip your first stitch purlwise. So taking your right needle, pick up the first stitch on your left needle in the new color as if to purl. Then simply place it onto your right needle as a slipped stitch. For your second and all subsequent stitches in that row, simply knit all the way around. I do want to point out that this technique for creating jogless stripes when knitting in the round, it looks best when you are knitting three or more rows of color change stripes. And on all the next rows, just keep knitting until it is time to change your yarn colors again, and then repeat. So let's take a look at exactly what this jogless stripe technique did for our rows. In my example, I've knit four rows total in the new color. So looking closely, we can see that there are only three stitches at the beginning of our stripes right here. Our slip stitch created one very long stitch, and that creates the optical illusion of our stripes looking a little bit cleaner. As I mentioned earlier, the spiral effect when knitting in the round, it's not something we can change, but this quick little fix helps our yarn change rows look a lot cleaner. I hope you have fun changing your yarn colors with confidence when knitting in the round. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.